Hello, my name is Gabriel Alvarez and I am a student at Florida International University. I am pursuing a dual degree in computer engineering and electrical engineering and I am going to talk to you about 4G LTE for my wireless communication course. You, you might be asking yourself, what is that LTE that appears on your phone or mobile device? Well, 4G LTE is a new network technology which introduced the opportunity for speeds up to 100 megabytes per second. This means that it's faster than your home cable or DSL connection as for your home networks, it is comparable to fire, uh, fiber optic services like AT&T Uverse. The 4G and 4G LTE stands for fourth generation of data technology for cellular, ne cellular ne networks. LTE stands for long-term evolution. LTE is also known as EU TRAN or Evolved Universal Tra Terrestrial Radio Access Network. Four G LTE traces its origins to December two thousand eight, where it was developed by the Third Generation Partnership Project or the Three G PP. But it wasn't introduced for commercial use until Telia Sonora provided it to Norway and Sweden in December of two thousand nine. The first wireless company to bring it to the United States was Verizon Wireless in two thousand ten. For my demonstration, I am going to compare my home Wi-Fi connection, which is provided by AT&T, to my T-Mobile mobile LTE connection. I'll be using an app called Speed Test to show my results. As we can see here, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, which is right here by the Wi-Fi signal. I got a result in the, app, in the speed test app of 10.27 download speed and 1.78 upload speed. Well now for my test with LTE, we can see that I'm connected to my T-Mobile LTE. See that I got a higher download rate of 23.40 download speed, but my upload speed is quite similar. It's 1.78. But see that the download speed is very much faster than Wi-Fi, than my home Wi-Fi. Now that you know some basic information about LTE, you must be wondering how it works. As we can see in the picture, the information is passed back and forth to, th to three important places. 4G LTE device, the cell site, and the data center. The 4G LTE enabled device is like one's smartphone. The cell site is a structure where network antennas and communication equipment are placed. The data center is the telecommunications facility for computing and data connectivity platforms. The data center also connects with the internet. To better your knowledge, I will have Andy Walker demonstrate how LTE works. If you've ever wondered what LTE is and how it works, Andy Walker is here to explain what it is, how it works, with a whole lot of fruit. A lot of fruit, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be really interesting. First up, what is LTE? Uh, LTE is sort of the next generation cell network. So uh, long-term evolution. It's an evolution of how we receive voice and data and things that we need on our cell phones. Um, so that we can get all the services that we want. All right, so now to the fun part. You have built something here that is going to explain LTE and how it does work. So uh, explain what this little thing here is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, well, LTE is a hyper -com complex situation, so this is overly simplified. But think of it like this, that it's a piece of data or a voice packet. You have a voice packet over there, that's lemons. Okay. Right? And we'll show you something else in a minute. So that flows over a channel 
over the air. So we've got okay. three channels here, and this is the previous generation. So this is, so you know, once upon a time, you take a piece of data, and it rolls down a channel, and okay. it goes from one user to the, to the other and user. And I can roll this down? Yeah, and that's a voice, piece of voice. And so you can imagine, you know, this is kind of going. This is really fun. Data's, data's flowing, you're talking, you're receiving email, and that sort of thing, right? But it's limited. There's only three lanes. In fact, in the real world, the previous generation had about seven lanes, right? And it was kind of hard to get things off, of you know, course, yeah. on, on very, very fast. So not right? enough lanes not and enough lanes. too much fruit or packets of data. Right. So there's a lot of what's called they call latency, which is a delay. You know, here it is. We've got to wait. Here it is. We've got to wait. Right. Okay. Now under LTE, now we go from seven lanes or seven channels to twenty channels. All right. It's like a twenty-channel superhighway. Okay. Let's build this superhighway because I know you have more than just this one All right. little piece of wood here. We're going to so, lock these together, right? Lock these two together, right? Okay. So now we have a massive capability. So not not only can we uh, put voice and data across it, right? Which we'll do, but we can do it much faster, right? We can do it a lot faster. Okay. And it's going to. Okay. Got that. Right, so now, but think about it, when you're going down the highway, what happens? You uh, actually have HOV lanes, right? Yes. You have dedicated lanes. Under LTE, we have dedicated channels to handle things that are really important. Oh, I right? understand. Okay. So, video mm -hmm. or video gaming information and that sort of thing. And then all of a sudden now, that, you know, you put some voice on there <laughs> and I'll put like, some more data on. And it's not getting interrupted at all and it's going much faster. Now we have faster on, on so we can both do it very, very quickly. Okay, because we have those HOV lanes. That's okay, right. Okay, so let's set this down for a second. That was very cool. Okay, I think I understand the idea behind LTE. Now this is better for everyone, right? In terms of being able to get your information more quickly. Well, exactly. So you have a much faster uh, capacity now and over the next 10 years or so, we going to see a massive growth in data usage in voice in you know a lot of people are now using cell phones for their home capability in terms of their data right so a lot of people need a lot of data capability we're looking at 150 megabytes down and 75 up right so huge capacity massive explosion of data needs and so the channels have to be wider and more managed All right. hi i am back now i'm going to explain the pros and cons of this technology for the pros 4G LTE provides very fast data transfer with a speed of 100 megabytes per second. Also, it, it has very large bandwidth that ranges from 1.4 to 20 megahertz in frequency. With these two statistics, we can see its amazing speed, but it also coverages over 30 miles more than Wi-Fi and it allows overlapping so you will never see a dead zone. To top it all off, it is extremely affordable. Now off to the cons. 4G LTE st still contains some regions that are not covered, but daily the coverage range is increasing. As we saw that the network service for 4G LTE is affordable, but 4G LTE enabled devices are getting more expensive due to the advanced hardware. At times, LTE may have glitches or freezes, but that will improve throughout time, as all technology does. The worst con that 4G LTE consists of, that it shortens battery life, killing a mobile device's battery life faster than any network. After seeing the good and bad of 4G LTE, we, can, we are going to look into the future of, of the technology. The newly developed version of LTE is LTEA or LTE Advance. It contains higher data rates. It can go as high as 300 megabytes per second. It contains a larger bandwidth of 20 to 100 megahertz, causing LTE Advance to perform better than LTE. Another technology researchers say that will pass LTE is its competition or closest competition, WiMAX. WiMAX has been in the market longer than a 4G LTE and it's considered a 3G or third generation network. Its data rates are only 30 to 40 megabytes uh, per second and its bandwidth is 1.25 to 20 megahertz. But it still hasn't reached its full potential because over time it should be better and it should be stronger than 4G LTE. In conclusion, 4G mobile networks, though advantageous, also comes with its disadvantages. While this technology is evolving speedily, 
it would take it will still take its time to emerge as the most pro- popular network. Mobile carriers and users interested in investing 4G would do well to analyze and understand its pros and cons before adopting in this or better technology. Well, we reached the end, folks. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Come on, man. Come on, please. please. Just something, please. Please, just get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, I just posted this picture online, and I'm chatting with my friend Sharon so she knows all about it. I've tweeted his description, and I posted a video on my blog. What's your emergency? We're being chased by a chainsaw murderer. Okay, let me just get you the GPS coordinates. Actually, his chainsaw just ran out of gas, so I think we'll be fine getting out of here on our own. Don't worry, I'll find you a gas station. (coughs) Just go right up here and then make a right and it'll be right on your left. Like the new ringtone I just downloaded? Hey. Oh my god, Sharon. Guess what just happened? Life is a lot less scary with the power of Verizon's new 4G LTE network. I was like, this guy's trying to kill me. And I was like,